So I just went and sewed my stem on and I have to tell you I'm not happy with it at all because I didn't have a real consistent quarter inch seam allowance. Let me show you and the truth of it is I'm going to go pick it out because this would not be a real sharp even um, stem. It would go, it would get skinny and fat and all that and that's just disgusting. So I guess there is some talent to this after all. Look at that. Look at how it just goes off in the middle. That's just horrible. So the truth of it is I would pick it out and go do it again. Let me show you how I pick out things. Um, what I do is I've got this great little seam ripper. It has my name on it. It's the four-in-one tool and the fact of the matter is you'll be using the stiletto end too, but it's a Bernina um, seam ripper so it's nice and sharp. Let me tilt the camera and show you how I pick things out. It's really fast and really truly fairly painless. When I go to pick out a seam, I make sure that the seam or stitching that my seam ripper can slide nicely underneath. If the seam ripper cannot slide nicely under st under the st um, stitch, you got two one of two things going on. Number one, it's a cheap seam ripper, and truly you want to get rid of it and get a decent one. And there are a bunch of decent ones on the market. And or your stitch length is too tight, and so you want to loosen up your stitch. And I go down and I just pick, pick, pick about every three. And then I turn it over and I just lift up that thread just like that and then you're good to go. So the truth of the matter is I would pick that one out and I would do it over. But if this is making you a little nervous doing it this way, there's yet another way to prepare stems and I'll show you that next time.